electrophilic addition in isolated and conjugated dienes. Dienes can be of two different types, isolated dienes and conjugated dienes. In isolated dienes, the electrons right here are localized. They cannot shift onto any atom. But in the case of conjugated dienes, since there are alternate double and single bonds, the electrons can get delocalized. Hence, the reactivity of conjugated dienes towards electrophilic addition reaction will be different. When isolated dienes react with electrophilic agents, they are going to react pretty much in the same way as normal alkenes would do. Say, for example, when this diene right here, when this isolated diene is reacted with excess HBr, then both of these double bonds is going to undergo electrophilic addition following the Markovnikov's rule. So let's apply the Markovnikov's rule and find out what is the product that will be obtained. So between these two carbons, obviously, this is the carbon that is going to have that is having more number of hydrogens. And therefore, this is where the hydrogen from the protic acid is going to go. Right. And the Br is going to get added to the other carbon. Now here, when we go on to the other double bond between these two carbons, obviously this is the carbon that has the most number of hydrogens and therefore the hydrogen is going to go on to this carbon and the Br is going to go on to the other carbon, right? And that is what we have here, right? Let's also take a look into the mechanism. First, one double bond is going to react with the electrophilic agent and then uh, it will do the complete addition and then the second double bond will react. So this is going to follow the standard mechanism for the electrophilic addition that is happening in uh, uh, alkene. This is going to go and abstract this hydrogen, thrust these electrons onto Br. Here between these two carbons, obviously this is the one um, that's going to be formed as a carbocation since the hydrogen has been added to this carbon. If we add the hydrogen onto this carbon, then it's going to create as a primary carbocation. We know that the primary carbocation is not as stable compared to the secondary carbocation. So we are going to form a secondary carbocation here, and this will react with Br- in the next step, and then form the first electrophilic addition product. And once the first electrophilic addition, re addition reaction is over, it's going to react with the second equivalent of HBr where this double bond will go and attack the hydrogen, thrust these electrons onto Br. And this has resulted in the formation of a new carbocation. And then it's going to react with Br minus again by forming a bond between carbon and bromine to get the di-substituted, di-bromo-substituted alkane. And you can see that the two bromines are added here while the two hydrogens one here and one here have been added let's say instead of excess electrophilic reagent you are going to add only one equivalent of the electrophilic reagent in that case these two double bonds will have different reactivities whichever is going to form the most stable carbocation by the addition of proton is the one that's going to undergo electrophilic addition reaction first say for example when this double bond reacts with the uh, electrophilic agent following Markovnikov's rule, the hydrogen is going to get added to that carbon and this is the carbocation that will form. Electrophilic addition reaction of at this double bond is going to give us a tertiary carbocation. Let's say you're going to do it on the other side. So the hydrogen will get added here and this is the carbocation that will be formed. Here in this case, it's a secondary carbocation that's formed. So between these two carbocations, obviously the tertiary carbocation is more stable and therefore this one equivalent of HCl is going to add to this double bond. And that is the reason why you get this one as the product. The HCl is only going to get added to this double bond. But when conjugated dienes react with one equivalent of the electrophilic reagent, then it has the possibility to give us two products. One is the one to addition product, which is what we normally see in the case of alkenes and um, isolated dienes. And the other one is a 1,4 addition product, which comes as a surprise. Now, what is this 1,2 addition and what is this 1,4 addition? 1,2 addition is an addition where the two groups in the electrophilic addition reaction is getting added to the adjacent carbons. Say, for example, here, the hydrogen was added to the first carbon and the bromine was added to the second carbon. So if I'm going to number these two carbons here, okay, they are, they are being added in the first and the second position respectively. And therefore, this is called as 1,2 addition. Now, in the 1,4 addition, the bromine was getting added to the fourth carbon in relation to the first carbon. So if I'm going to give the numbering here, 1, 2, 3, 4, you can see that the hydrogen was added to the first carbon, whereas the bromine was added to the fourth carbon. These numberings right here has got nothing to do with the nomenclature. 
Okay, now when you take a look in this compound right here, this is a symmetrical conjugated diene where these two double bonds right here are going to have exactly the same reactivity. So when now uh, when it reacts with one equivalent of HBr, obviously one of these double bonds will undergo electrophilic addition reaction. Let's say that this is the double bond that's going undergoing electrophilic addition reaction, then the hydrogen is going to get added to this carbon and the Br is going to get added to this carbon and this is the product that will be formed, right? The one two addition product. But how did we get this one four addition product? How did the bromine jump from carbon number two to carbon number four? And how did the double bond shift from three and four to two and three? In order to answer this question, we have to look into the mechanism. Let's draw the mechanism for this reaction. Here we have the butadiene molecule, 1,3-butadiene. The first step is where these electrons from the pi bond is going to make a nucleophilic attack on this hydrogen, thrust these electrons onto bromine. Okay. This is going to give us a carbocation since the hydrogen is going to go to this carbon. This is the carbon which, be, uh, which will have the positive charge, which will be the carbocation. Now, this carbocation is actually an allylic carbocation. We know that the allylic carbocation is stable because it is resonance stabilized, right? So, this is going to be in resonance with the other resonance contributor where these electrons are going to shift in. And now it will be this carbon which is losing the electrons to have the positive charge. Now, you can see that there is a new carbocation that is created, right? This is a primary allylic carbocation. And the double bond has been shifted between 2 and 3, carbons 2 and 3, right? Now, in the next step, the Br- minus can go and attack this carbon to give us a new compound, which we call as 1,4 addition product. So, you can see from here, the hydrogen has been added to the first carbon and Br is being added to the fourth carbon. So, this is because of the two resonance contributors of the allylic carbocation that it is able to form the 1,4 addition product. And this can only happen in conjugated dienes. We will only get the 1,4 addition product in conjugated dienes. What's going to happen when you take an unsymmetrical conjugated diene and let it undergo electrophilic addition reaction with one equivalent of HBr? Which of these double bonds uh, will undergo electrophilic addition reaction? Now, this is going to depend on the most stable carbocation that will be formed. Let's say that this is the carbon, this is the double bond that is going to react, uh, that is going to undergo electrophilic addition reaction. So in which case, the hydrogen is going to get added onto this carbon. And uh, this is the carbon that will be having the positive charge. Let's write down the carbocation that will be formed. Uh, here is the carbocation that is formed. And you can see that this is a tertiary allylic carbocation, where you can see that this double bond can shift from its position, giving us a new carbocation. So here are the two carbocations that are obtained when you do the electrophilic addition reaction on this double bond. Now let's say that the addition is happening between C3 and C4. So this one right here is between C1 and C2. And we'll also write down what would be the carbocations that will be formed when uh, the addition happens at C3 and C4. So again, if you take, the, take a look into these two uh, carbons between these two this is the carbon that has the most number of hydrogens and following Markovnikov's rule this is the play this is the carbon where the hydrogen needs to get added and this will be our carbocation let's write let, let's write down the structure of the carbocation this one right here is a secondary allylic carbocation because we can see there is still a double bond present right this can shift to the neighboring position giving us another carbocation which is a primary allylic carbocation. Now, between these two uh, addition reactions, electrophilic addition reactions, which one is going to be more feasible? Obviously, which one, whichever results in the most stable carbocation. So here you have a, um, you have two carbocations, tertiary and primary allylic, but here you have secondary allylic and primary allylic. So because this is going to result in at least one more stable carbocation, the reaction is going to happen. The electrophilic addition reaction is going to happen between C1 and C2. So let's write down the products that will be obtained when the when this tertiary allylic carbocation will be um, attacked by the bromine nucleophile. This is going to result in us result us this product, and in the same way. If the Br- minus is going to go and attack this one, then here is the product that is obtained. 
while this one right here is a one-two addition where you can see that the hydrogen is added here and the Br is added here in the one-two position. So let's number this one, two. The hydrogen has been added here and the Br has been added here. So this is one-two addition product. The other one is going to be the one-four addition where the hydrogen is still getting added here. So here is the hydrogen that has been added and the Br is added here. So if you do the numbering here again, one, two, three, four, this would be the one four addition product. Here, when this conjugated ion undergoes electrophilic addition reaction, the electrophilic addition reaction is initiated at this double bond, which is going to result in the tertiary allylic carbocation and a primary allylic carbocation. And therefore, these are the two products that are formed for this reaction. But how much of these products will be obtained? That is going to depend on the reaction conditions which will be covered in the next video.